Howard Stanley Marks. He is the co-founder and co-chairman of Oak Tree Capital Management, the largest investor in distressed securities worldwide. In 2020, with a net worth of $2.1 billion, Marx was ranked number 391 on the Forbes 400 rankings of the wealthiest Americans. Marx is admired in the investment community for his memos, which detail his investment strategies and insight into the economy, and are posted publicly on the Oak Tree website. He has also published three books on investing. According to Warren Buffett, when I see memos from Howard Marx in my mail, they're the first thing I open and read. I always learn something, and that goes double for his book. Marx emphasizes on risk management, advising investors to tailor their investment strategies to their individual circumstances, and ask themselves whether they are more concerned about the danger of losing money, or the chance of missing out on a lucrative opportunity. Marx believes that gaining an investment advantage through research is difficult, because so many smart people are already doing it, instead, better inferring the consequences implied by current company data, managing the psychology of investing, and assessing the current stage of the market cycle, are the ways to gain an advantage. Marx does favor using market timing strategies to have cash available to be invested during a downturn. Marx notes that it is important for investors to admit what they don't know, instead of believing something is certain. He aims for a high batting average over home runs. Funds led by Marx have produced long-term returns net of fees of 19% per year. His investors are primarily pension funds and sovereign wealth funds. I'm a value investor. I try to figure out the intrinsic value in a situation. I like to buy if the price is low relative to the intrinsic value. I like to sell if the price is high relative to the intrinsic value. Howard Marks was born in Queens, New York, in 1946 and raised there. Despite the fact that his family was Jewish, he was raised as a Christian scientist. He was a member of the Pi Kappa Alpha fraternity at the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School, throughout his undergraduate studies. With a concentration in finance and a minor in Japanese studies, he graduated with honors in 1967. He received his Master of Business Administration in Accounting and Marketing from the University of Chicago Booth School of Business in 1969, when he was 23 years old, and was awarded the George Hay Brown Prize. He became a CFA in 1975. In this business, you need to know all you can about security. And I thought I did, until today. One of my customers handed me this Citibank Visa card. Look at this. And would you believe? It had her photo it right on it. So how could anyone else use it? Marx worked for Citigroup from 1969 until 1978, initially as an equities research analyst, and subsequently as the company's director of research. He worked as a vice president and senior portfolio manager for convertible and high yield bonds from 1978 until 1985. In 1980, Citibank gave him permission to relocate to Los Angeles. Marx joined TCW Group in 1985, where he oversaw the high-yield debt and convertible securities investment units, and in 1988, he and Bruce Karsh formed one of the first distressed debt funds from a large financial institution. In 1995, he, Karsh, and three other partners decided to leave to start their own firm, and petitioned TCW to allow them to continue managing the funds they managed at TCW in exchange for a share of the management fees. When TCW refused, the five partners left and founded Oak Tree Capital Management in Los Angeles. They're all intelligent, they're all numerate, they're all hooked up by computer, they're all trying very hard, and their search for bargains has the effect of driving bargains out of existence. Oak Tree flourished quickly after its founding in 1995, specializing on high-yield debt, distressed debt, and private equity. During the financial crisis of 2007-08, Oak Tree funded $10.9 billion to buy distressed assets, the largest distressed debt fund in history, which paid off richly for his investors. Oak Tree became a public business in April 2012, when it sold 8.84 million shares for $43 each in an initial public offering on the New York Stock Exchange, raising $380 million. Oak Tree selling 62% of itself uh, to Brookfield Asset Management. People, uh, our viewers may know Oak Tree, of course, led by uh, Howard Marks, 
uh, who will continue as the co-chairman of the company. Bruce Karsh also is co-chairman and chief investment officer. Jay Weintraub is chief executive officer. All will continue. They're going to run them separately, but it's an important transaction. Make no mistake about it. We'll keep an eye on shares of Oak Tree this morning. Brookfield Asset Management bought 62% of Oak Tree in March 2019. Marks and other Oak Tree members own 38% of the company and have complete control over its day-to-day -day operations. Mark's first marriage ended in divorce. He has one biological child with his second wife Nancy, named Andrew Marks. He currently running Freemark Partners, the investment firm for the Marks family, and also have a stepchild, Jane Haight, from Nancy's prior marriage. Marks is a member of the Democratic Party who has criticized Donald Trump's economic policies. He gave nearly $200,000 to the Hillary Victory Fund and other comparable groups in 2016. He has, however, criticized Alexandria Casio proposed Cortez's tax plan, saying that a great deal of America's economic development has arisen from people's drive to make more and live better. With this, we have to say that Howard Marks is an interesting billionaire to cover on this channel. If you think that we have got any of the facts wrong, then feel free to comment down in the comments section below. We upload three videos every week, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you are interested, please feel free to hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified when there is a video up on the channel.